Brothers and sisters in Christ, the times we are living in right now are unlike any that we have seen in our lifetimes. Make no mistake, the warnings are coming from heaven itself, and they are serious. We stand at the edge of a precipice, and the hour is late. This message is not just for some distant future, no, it's happening now. Our Lady has spoken, and her words carry the weight of a mother's warning for her children. She speaks with love, but also with a seriousness that cannot be ignored. She sees the state of the world, and she is calling out to us. War is raging, and it is not something that will simply disappear. These conflicts will not resolve themselves in peace, as some may hope. They are going to continue, and they are going to get worse. The unrest, the anger, the violence that surround the world of today, it's all part of a larger picture. These are not random events. They are building towards something, and Our Lady has made it clear, we are heading for a time of mass suffering, a time of famine and hardship that will affect the whole world. She speaks of science being used against man, the very gift that was meant to help us has been perverted by evil men, twisted into tools of destruction. There's no hiding from it anymore. We've seen the beginnings of it already. The news doesn't even try to hide the fact that nations are weaponizing science in ways that can only lead to one end, death and suffering. And it is the innocent who will suffer the most. We are already seeing the signs. Children, families, the elderly, they are caught in the crossfire, and it will only escalate from here. These wars, these confrontations, are going to bring about a famine like none we've ever known. This is not something that only affects distant lands. It is coming to all of us. The breakdown of society, the collapse of global markets, food shortages, all of it is coming, and we have been warned. Now, I don't speak these words to scare you, but I cannot soften the truth either. Our Lady has given us clear instructions. She has called us to prepare, not just spiritually, but physically as well. Yes, our souls need to be ready for what's coming, but we also need to make sure we are prepared in practical ways. It is time to store up what we can. I'm not just talking about a few extra cans of food here and there. No, this is going to be a real famine. The kind that causes nations to fall. Each of us, in our own way, must make sure we have enough food for the hard times ahead. Grains, rice, water, anything non-perishable that can sustain you and your loved ones. And to those of you who may feel discouraged because you don't have the means to stockpile food, listen carefully to what I'm about to say. Our Lady has also promised that heaven will not abandon you. She has spoken of angels who will come down from heaven itself, bringing manna to sustain those who are faithful. This is no metaphor, this is the reality of God's provision. In the times of old, he provided for his people in the wilderness. When the Israelites were wandering, when they had no food, he sent them bread from heaven, manna, literal food that sustained them day after day. And he will do it again. This is not a fairy tale. It is a promise. The angels are ready, and when the famine strikes, they will descend with the food we need to survive. But understand this, even though the angels will provide, we are not called to sit back and wait for them. We are called to act. Our Lady has made it clear that this is a time for preparation. We must do what we can with what we have. If you have the means to store food, do it. Don't wait until the shelves are empty, because by then it will be too late. But if you are in a place where you cannot, know that your prayers, your faith, and your obedience will not go unanswered. This crisis is not just about physical hunger. The famine that is coming will be both physical and spiritual. 
The suffering that is going to be unleashed upon the world is a direct result of the spiritual decay that we are witnessing. Look at the state of the world, the rejection of God, the embrace of sin, the love of money, power, and the perversion of truth. This is the root of the famine. This is why we must prepare ourselves spiritually first and foremost. We must turn back to God with all our hearts. We must repent of our sins, we must pray, we must fast, and we must seek His mercy. Because when this famine hits, it will not just be our bodies that are starving, many souls will be lost if they are not anchored in Christ. The angels are standing by, waiting for God's command. They will come when the time is right, and they will feed us, they will protect us, but we must do our part. Brothers and sisters, this is the moment to turn your life around if you haven't already. This is the moment to put your house in order, both your spiritual house and your physical one. The hour is late, and the warnings have been given. We have no excuse to be caught off guard. Our Lady's message is a message of both warning and hope. The suffering that is coming will purify the world, but we must be prepared to endure it. Those who trust in God, those who remain faithful, will be sustained. Just as in the days of old, when God provided for his people in their darkest hour, he will do so again. The angels will bring manna. We will not be left to starve if we remain faithful. But we must act now. We are living in a time of prophecy, a time of fulfillment. The wars, the unrest, the famines, they are all part of what has been foretold. Our Lady is calling us to be ready. She is telling us that this is not the time for complacency. The famine will come, and it will be unlike anything the world has ever experienced. But there is hope. There is always hope for those who trust in the Lord. So, I urge you, as your brother in Christ, take this message to heart. Prepare yourselves. Stock up what you can and know that when the time comes, God will provide, but we must be ready to receive it. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humility and trust. In these troubling times, we know you have not abandoned us. We ask for your protection, for the strength to face the trials ahead, and for the wisdom to act according to your will. Through the intercession of Our Lady, may we be prepared, body and soul, to endure what is to come. Strengthen our faith, deepen our trust, and grant us peace in the face of hardship. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.